on your car. The first thing you want to do is take your side panel and you stick it up in your hole. Now, Street Beast supplies rubber that goes in between here. I don't use it. Okay, I like that nice tight fit in there and that's what we're going to go with. The first thing you do is take a nice clean carpenter's pencil and you draw a line across it just like that. So you're going to do that on both our sides. Rod, our hood support rods are not going to go even with those lines. And if you come over here and we'll look at this one, you will see how far down I had to go. Now what that's going to do, that's going to compensate for the thickness. We got our lines where we want those. Of the side We're going to take our hood support hardware that Jeff nicely put together. And I'd like to stress to make sure when you put these in, that the curvature part is facing down and the flat part because your your uh, hood catch is going to go in there and catch on that hook if you want to get a nice close look at that. So we take our hood hardware just like this. Can you hold that over there Jeff? Over here Jeff. Follow me. We're going to come back approximately kind of eyeball it out how far you think that that's going to fit in there. I go about approximately a half an inch or so. And then, I kind of eyeball it out, I've done a lot of these, but you want to compensate for the thickness of that and you drop it down. Now, this is where we're going to bolt it. We only need one bolt in there. Street Beast says to put two, I put one. The reason for that is, is because of the way that I support the front end and I'm going to show you how to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to drill a quarter inch hole right here and it's going to go all the way through. Then, I'm going to cut a hole out to the other right. side the same way. And then, we're going to take our side panels and I'll show you the next procedure. Okay. So let's go ahead and drill those holes out. My assistant has got all that side hardware done. He's drilled the hole out. He's made a notch in there, which we'll clean up later, so we can fit a socket down in there to tighten it up. Now what's real important on the right-hand side is that the opening of the hinges is facing out. If you have it facing like that, where, this, where the opening is facing in, the hinges will not work. Panel on there. Sorry. On the line that you made earlier, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide my rod inside the hole, just like that. And it should line up pretty close to the end of this notch here is what it should be doing. So that will give you a good lead point where to stop. Now, I'm going to eyeball the top of my rod, okay, my square tubing with the firewall and I'm going to make an arrow right there. I'm also going to scribe the back side the thing that you want to do of my is line the marks up that you have. So if you look real close, you can see the mark that I scribed on here. So I'm going to line that up with the outside of my firewall. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to line the arrow up with the top of this bar. As I'm holding that in place, I'm going to double check everything. And the hole that we drilled, I'm going to use for a pilot hole. And I'm going to start my hole. Now I'm going to throw my hole out. I'm going to take my bolts. This is just for temporary use. Okay. We will be taking these off the paint. Okay, we got our bar installed. 
and everything's lining up. If you look real close here, our line's lining up good, okay? Now, the next thing that you do on this side of the car is you pull the panel back just a hair. And you mark where your hinge opening is. So we're going to mark our hinge opening. And then we're going to put it back up there. And I'm going to take my finger because I'm going to... I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, eyeball mark that. You want to go in about a quarter of an inch on each one. Then you want to come out. We want to make that hole just a little bit bigger to make sure it clears enough for our hands to fit. Then we're going to take our air saw and we're going to cut these openings out. I've got an air saw here. This is what I use. You can use a jigsaw or a Dremel tool or whatever you have at home to use for this. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these openings out and we're going to put our panel back on the car. as you can see, and that should line up with our hinge, where our hinges go. So go ahead and slide our panel back on and double check that. This one here looks really nice. I like that. You can see a little bit of a gap there between it. We still need to trim this one up. So we'll go ahead and do that before we set it back on there. Because we'd like to get all this done beforehand. That way we don't have to keep taking our panel off and on, off and on. Right now all we're doing is really just rust fitting all our body parts. When we get ready to paint this vehicle we're going to come back and clean all the edges up and we're going to do everything it takes to get it looking good. Now we're going to take our C-clamp vice grips and we're going to clamp that panel right there. Okay, so we know it fits nice, just like that. We're going to get our drill so with our quarter-inch drill bit. Install these. I'm going to stress again. I install them where you can take the side panels off to show your engine if you want, or you can leave them on. And what I do is I drill two bolt holes, okay? So I kind of line it up with my hand. I put one right here in the valley of the side panel, and then I take a bolt, and I go ahead and lay that in there, I'm going to put one more, approximately just a little bit past half point. And when you do the left side, you basically do it exactly the same as the right side. Everything on the right side of the car is done the same way as on the left side. What we're going to do, look at everything as a mirror. Image. We're going to get those here panel lock pliers. And we're going to hold, because we want to hold that nice and tight. And we're going to drill three holes, tap them out for quarter inch. So our side panels will be screwed on the top. So just if you want to show them how to drill those out, why don't we start with the end one here. And we're also going to bevel them holes because the screws that we're using are countersink screws. So they'll sit flush mount the, with the uh, top uh, of the vehicle. Uh, set your drill bit on the uh, spots Pete so kindly made for me. here what Jeff did is he made a nice countersink hole and when he gets done tapping that out that screw is going to sit nice and flush on there. You want to tap that out Jeff and we'll see what it looks like. Certainly. And I think it looks like a nice tap. He's going to go ahead and screw that in there and we're going to see what it looks like. There's your, I think we're going to have us a winner. Jeff, we're going to go ahead and install both panels and they're going to get it all done and then we will move to the next procedure.